I'm gonna attempt to fix this short throw projector today. The issue is the temp light keeps coming on and that is basically because inside there's a bunch of dust that needs to be cleaned out. So what we're gonna do is we remove this first. Next we remove the actual lamp. The lamp is in here. The lamp is fine, we've already replaced the lamp. And after that we actually remove the shell. To do that you remove the screws on the bottom. And here's our inserts. So to prove anyone can do this, I have just a screwdriver today, a little Phillips. Because we actually need to get all the way to the bottom here. So I already undid all my screws. The hardest part here is just keeping track of all of your screws and making sure they all go back in the same spot. But we're just gonna pop out right here. Then we're gonna remove this steel shell here. Okay. We're gonna remove this actual logic board entirely. So I've already done all the screws and I'm actually gonna leave most of these connected. I'm just gonna pull this out. that and this guy right here is really tight okay bring this in a step closer next i gotta move this bad boy and this is what i wanted to get to the very bottom of the board so next i need to pull this so the problem in my opinion is probably going to be this right down here this thing has been in use for seven years and so this is very expected believe it or not that this will happen because it's been in use for so long there's one more right here that sound is that when you move the table it's just moving right there it is yeah. see this right here take a look in here see all that in there that's what the problem is. So now what you could do is you could order just this part, but what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna open it up and we're just gonna clean it ourselves and make it look beautiful again. Just go ahead and remove these two. And then we'll take the whole unit out and we'll spray it down really good. So it'll all, you'll see all the dust go. You can craft just a lot of dust. So Ross, do you need to be a professional to be able to learn how to do this? No, I've, I've never taken apart any of these electronics like this before, to be honest with you. And uh, it's not that hard. Again, it's just a matter of having the courage to try it and having some patience. Those are the two main things. So we'll leave that connected as one because that's a unit. And how many projectors have you done this to now? I just fixed the same one yesterday. That's how I have some experience in it. It's just one but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the same exact issue as the other one. So what you're gonna do is pop this here so we can get this free. Okay, and that pops off. See that? And then this Ooh. right here, I'm gonna pop it out. It's gonna be our spindle that we need to clean out really good. Just with a quick spray off. It's crazy. All this stuff happens though. You know, if you don't get to the very bottom of it like this, and you don't have a air compressor hooked up, you're gonna have some problems. You just spray them. It'll start spinning like that. So all you gotta do is you just hold on to it. You don't want to put it right against it because. So you want to keep it a little further away from these chips. Right up to it, you could end up breaking a chip. Uh, clean. The whole thing is clean. Look how clean it all looks. So now all I have to do is just put it all back together. That shouldn't be hard, right? I just have to remember where these 48 screws go. This part is just important that you line up this part here with the teeth. Right there, see that? And this part right here with the teeth. See that right there? Mm -hmm. These are actually all the buttons that you press. Can I press one? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, let's go. <laughs> I'll be putting that in soon. No problem, I'm just making fun of it. Okay, so this is gonna go right here. Next, we're gonna add back in our lamp fixture, which actually, if you look on the bottom, it just connects right there really easily, actually. Just set that in. That's 
screw on there. This one gets the small screw. And that, guess what? We can go ahead and put our lid back on. And we're actually ready to test. So I always like to test before I do anything too crazy with it. Put all this in because there's a safety. So when, it, when you test it, if you don't have all these in there, it's not gonna start. So if I did everything accurate, we should have a light here once I plug this in. Oh, yeah. And then going further, let's turn around and let's hear it. Should get a beep. Here it comes. Look up the old PS5 and boom. Back to working flawlessly. Ta-da. Don't be afraid to take on new things. I didn't know how to do this. Now I'll fix two of them. <laughs>